Hi there Kenneth, uh, this is Daniel and this is going to be the tutorial on uh, running, you th running you through a few of the different things um, that you can do with your WordPress website. Specifically I'm going to be focusing on sermons and how to upload a sermon and create a sermon page and secondly the next thing you want to we want to really cover is the resources which is essentially is a blog so I'm going to show you how to create a blog post um, and what that entails firstly I just want to show you uh, a few little um, upkeeping um, uh, um, duties that you need to take care of your your website when you log into your dashboard you can see uh, here is an important thing to to notice 56 changes have been made to the website since the last backup so it means if uh, something were to happen to your website uh, for example uh, if it was hacked or um, if you made a mistake and you want to revert back then the only way to, to save yourself really is to take a backup so to make a backup of the site you and and also the other thing you want to do is every time you can see here that, there, that there's a little three under next to plugins. It means there's three plugins that we're using that need updating. And it's really important to keep your plugins and WordPress updated. Um, it's good for security and it's good for the running of your, your, your site. So before we, we update anything, you always need to back up. So it's really easy. You can either click back up here or you can go to backup buddy on the side, click back up and that will take you to the same area. So I'm just going to do it quickly. And then you click on complete backup. And then a script is going to run and it's going to start creating a backup for you, which you can then download onto your computer and store away for, for future reference. You could also um, store it on um, your cloud storage if you have Google Drive or if you have a Dropbox account um, then you can also save it there but for me personally I always save my backups on a hard drive so it's just taking us through the steps here now it's zipping up the file now the reason why it's so big uh, this file that it's creating that we're gonna have to download is because of the sermons we have uploaded um, as I mentioned before, you know, if we can get SoundCloud working, I think that's going to be ideal situation because you could have a problem with, with, with data otherwise. So anyway, this is finished and now we're going to just click download a backup uh, and then you click download and it will save that download to your hard drive. So I'm not going to click it now, but um, you should take the time to do this uh, from time to time. Um, actually, I will do this now because I am going to update the plugins as well. So I need to do this. And as you can see here in the bottom left corner, it is downloading, but it's a quite a large download. So it's going to take a, a little while and I'll come back to this tutorial. Um, I'll just pause it and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so that's downloaded. Uh, so now I'm going to go to the plugins um, and update what needs to be updated. So just click plugins. And then the ones that are orange, uh, you can tick or you can just click update available. Three. And then you click all update and apply okay so those plugins have been updated and now we can return to our dashboard uh, I just want to go back to the dashboard quickly which is the overview of what's happening in your on your site you can see here since we backed up now there uh, this um, count has changed to zero as there is we have made zero changes since our last backup Okay, so let me start with, uh, let me just open the site up quickly and go to re resources. 
and I'm going to take you through how to create a resource or also known as a uh, you know, in, in most cases, it's called a blog post. But for the purpose of this website and for, for this organization, we're going to call it resources. So we have got one blog post or resource currently, and this is what it looks like. There's some information here. Uh, there's a big picture and there's a category posted by, posted on, and a title and also some post tags, recent posts, and also some later sermons. So let's just go to create a new one. We want to go to posts and add a new post. Okay, so we're going to call this post a test post, which we're going to delete and then we want it to have a sidebar this this here on the right hand side of the post is called a sidebar and we want it to be a post sidebar and we want it to appear on the right hand side um, then we've got some header options here um, the header options is what appears in this section here so I don't want to edit any of that stuff um, I just want it to appear as a, a, as a default um, and then we're going to look here on the right hand side of our new post it's going to be a standard post just with probably text but if it was an image post only an image then you might click image if it was only an audio you would click this and if it was just a video in your post uh, or predominantly a video let's just say then you would click this one um, at the moment we've only got two categories set up we've got teachings and uncategorized which is a wordpress default category uh, for this post i'm going to add a new category and call it resources and then i want to click add if i want to add it if I, you can add you can uh, tag a, a post into several different categories if you like but for now i'm only going to have it tagged into the resources category then tags here is is very similar to hashtags um, and whatever you put down will come up here in the post tag section so I'm going to write test post uh, tutorial and, on, and if you want to add any more just click comma and then add a new one another tag and then click add so then my tags if I want to remove one just press the X button there. Then we want to set a featured image. Uh, the featured image is what you see when you go to the main resources page and there's this image here. That's the featured image. Okay, so we're going to add a featured image here and I'm just going to uh, upload a new file just going to upload any old file um, from my desktop. Hopefully, there's an image there I can use. Okay, I'm just going to select a file on my desktop. Which is here click open and then I'm going to click set as featured image so now that that's all working correctly now I want to actually add in the content the content is what we see underneath this image here um, so it's all of this so I'm just going to quickly f um, add some content from somewhere okay so I'm going to paste some text that I had and I just want to give it some, break it up into smaller paragraphs. So I'm going to press enter here. And I'm also going to um, add an image. So I want to, you can, um, I think by default, um, 
it's going to I'll just have to check by default it may use your featured image at the top of the post so let's just click publish because we've added all the content we wanted to and then go to our resources page and see if that new post has come through which is here okay perfect so it has come through and there's our content the text and the title so if I click on this yeah so you can see here by default the post uses your feature image uh, at the top of your your post just on top of the the text that you added here we've got our post tags so we added a few tags here we said test post tutorial and we've got a recent post and latest sermons and categories so this is what we're looking at here this is the content we added so this is what we want to go ahead and edit um, okay so I'm going to quickly take you through how to style some of this text um, it's quite flexible you just highlight you can bold it italicize um, you can underline some text you can create a list so you just click the list button numbered or bulleted let's make a numbered list you can um, indent text and there's quite a lot of things you can do you can if you have a quote or, or a particular scripture you can actually make it a quote um, by just clicking on the quotation marks which are here and you can also superscript subscript which is here you can also change the font size you can change the font family but I don't recommend doing that uh, unless you really unless you really have to feel you really have to rather if you want to make something bigger the best way to do it is actually to uh, change this to a heading one two three four five six so if you want to remove some of the formatting that you've created you just highlight the text and click on the rubber tool so now it's just normal text again but I want to make this a heading so I'm gonna click on heading two perfect um, okay so also the last thing I want to do is I want to add a little image and I'm gonna add that here so I want the image to appear on the right of this text so I'm gonna click here on the left right on the left of this text add an image or click add media and add the image that we want to add uh, if you need to upload a new image just click upload new and click click select a file and then uh, before we actually insert into post I just want to uh, check these settings um, we want it to be aligned to the right in this particular instance and we don't want it to link to anything so make sure you click off that and I want it to appear full size is fine and then I'll click insert into into post and that's perfect it's on the right but if I wanted to move it now onto the left I just click um, left align and now it's on the left of the text if you want it to be centrally aligned just click that center button or if you want no alignment it, and it will appear then you just click no alignment there but I like I like this on the right so I'm going to keep it there and click update and then see how that looks I'm also going to show you how to add a, a YouTube um, video into this post so I'm just going to go to YouTube quickly and okay okay so I'm going to add this video so all I have to do to add a, a YouTube video is to go to the video and click on um, on the actual URL here highlight it click right click click copy and then go to my post and click paste it's that easy 
and then I'm going to click update and I'm then going to go and check out how my post looks so I can either go to my website here or I can simply click uh, view post here but I want to open it in new tab so I can make changes more easily instead of going back and forth so I can I can check it out by clicking this or I can go up here and click view post they both do the same things so let's see how this is looking there's my heading here's a video added here's the stylized text the image uh, and all the goodies there so that's how you add a post um, I'm also going to show you how to delete this post so to delete this post I can either I can go into the post and click here move to bin or I can go to all posts which is up here and select the, the post I want to delete and move it to bin and apply okay uh, the last thing for posts and, and resources is categories if you want to remove any categories that you've added this is where you go to add to remove them so you I would just click on the one that I want to remove and delete this and then click apply I can also add categories from this section here okay so that's all there is to that uh, now I'm going to move on to um, how to edit content within a page okay so let's just say I want to go to the our story page there's two ways to do it I can either while I'm logged into WordPress you know you're logged into WordPress if this black bar appears at the top so if you're logged in you can actually go directly to the page and let's say I want to uh, edit some text here all I have to do is click edit page and then find where my text needs editing as to say I want to make this uh, bold then I can do that then all you have to do is click on update and the other way to get to to edit the pages is to go here on your navigation um, area and click on all pages okay so you can also edit a page from here let's say I want to edit my contact page and change the contact details just click edit and that will take you to your contact page um, now on our contact page we don't really have any uh, information um, live text and I'll show you what I mean by that if I go to here all we have is some contact details here and we've also got our location map so to change the location on the location map what you have to do well it's actually quite a, a tricky thing but it's got to do with Google you have to Google how to embed a, a Google map basically and that will give you access to the iframe and you add it in here if you need to change these contact details you're going to have to go into appearance widgets and go to the contact sidebar and there's some um, uh, information here so if I want to change the address just change this text if I want to change the phone number only change the phone number don't mess with any of the other text and here is the email but the reason why it looks so funny this email is because we're actually masking it so that uh, people can't spam you very easily um, and I think there's also some other text in the sidebar it's actually the image um, so if you wanted to add more ima uh, information you can also just press enter and then add some text and then you click save and it will be, uh, it will add the text that you want to add um, if there's anything else you want to add to the to a sidebar you can literally drag from here and pull it across 
So you can just discover if you like what you can do. You can put recent po posts, you can put recent sermons in the con in the sidebars. Uh, you can put anything. Uh, then if we go um, up here, it says if we go to our home page, you can see here it says Fountain of His Word Ministries. If you want to change what it says in the top bar here, all you have to do is click Customize, or you can also do it here uh, by going to Appearance, Customize, and then you change it here. Um, site Identity, and you take the tagline off and you change it to, uh, I would say, something like preaching faith let's change it to preaching faith in the finished work of Christ and then save so now if we refresh this page and I hover over this section here okay it's not coming up but yeah that's how you change it um, okay so we'll close that lastly um, if I wanted to change the if I want to change the widgets uh, information once again I go to appearance and widgets, which we were there already, and you go to the footer. Okay, here's the footer. So you can see there's three columns in our footer. We've got an image in this column, we've got site navigation in this column, and we've got some contact info in this column. So that's this the left hand column. There's some text there. It's actually just an image of the logo. Then we've got the middle column, which has the website navigation, and the last column has some uh, contact details. Okay, uh, the last thing we want to go through uh, for this tutorial is sermons. So I'm going to go to sermons, and also I'm going to go to sermons on our actual website. Okay, this is only going to be the part one of sermons because we're still trying to figure out how to get SoundCloud uh, integrated well with, with the sermons. But for now, let's just um, show you how to um, create a, a sermon. So you already know how to upload media. Um, let's go and add a new sermon. Um, what we want to do is you want to click here and go to sermons and then click add new. I'm going to do here and call this sermon test sermon. And the categories, if we go uh, here to our sermons page, we can actually filter by categories. Um, you can see this is in. Um, okay, so the sermon categories actually formulate sermon series. So you can see here, uh, I've got five sermon categories, or sermon series, shall we say. Um, for now, we've called them Faith, Jesus Missions, New Covenant Purpose. And here, um, here they are, Faith, Jesus, New Covenant Purpose. Uh, and it's not showing missions because we don't have any um, sermons posted in missions yet. But let's, for, for that reason, let's post it in missions. Um, let's just say your your series uh, was not called missions. Let's say you had a new sermon series called um, um, Second Corinthians Sermon Series, and then you just click Add. And then every other test uh, sermon that is in that sermon series, you would just make sure that you tag the category when you're creating the post. And you can add sermon tags, but it's not uh, absolutely necessary. 
the seven speaker would probably most likely be you but if you want to add a new one you can do so and for the uh, featured image I'm just going to use that same colorful image that we used before okay so all we want to do now is we want to if there's some text that that we want to go uh, with this um, sermon audio or it's really easy we can just add some text in here and click enter and I'm going to click enter here and one more time here and I can style this any way I want I can make the, the opening um, sentence I can make it a large heading and I can also add uh, any type of media I want to now for the tricky part which is the um, the audio for now we want to upload a, an audio file so I'm going to select um, a new file so I see that you've uploaded something here and you've called it it is finished so I'm going to add that and see I can see your album here is uh, faith in the finished work of Jesus but for now I'm just going to copy that oh, so I'm going to add that and there's your audio um, so I'm going to change this a post title from test sermon to it is finished and I also just want to I've noticed that you've called the album title or the album faith in the finished work of Christ so now that you've done that I can create the correct sermon album or sermon series and we're going to call that sermon series Faith in the Finished Work of Jesus Christ. So I'm going to unselect the, the other category, sermon category that we made. And then here you can add any um, other um, um, media if there is any media attached. So additional sermon video poster image. so you can add something here but it's not absolutely necessary and then that's all there is to it click publish and then we're going to go and see what that looks like okay so now I want to see how this is looking so I can either click here preview changes or I can click here right click and open in a new window or I can also do it here right click open in a new window and they're all going to open up the same thing as you can see here And that's what our post looks like. Um, you can see here, it's playing. Hallelujah.